Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across. LeBron. Okay, why? <laughs> LeBron, you know what? And I grew up. I grew up Michael yeah. Jordan fan because we love the Bulls in our house because my family was from Chicago. But LeBron is a different type of person. You know what I mean? I, I, I respect the fact that he's a he's a leader as well. To me, Michael Jordan wasn't the leader LeBron was like he right. is, right? right. So to right. me, LeBron, not, it's not only about himself, but it's about how he can uplift others. Mm -hmm. So he's more so a leader. He's a, a person that people follow because of how he is on and off the court. I also respect his values that he has with, with, his, with his family, with his relationship. So it makes you really, really um, just cheer for him more because of that. Michael okay. Jordan, you know, he did his thing. He was an athlete. Mm, right. Michael Jordan was just good at what he did. He was an athlete. He was a businessman. But when it came to the mentorship and the leadership, LeBron surpasses that. Okay. So that's why you give it to him. Yes. And he's good. He's broke. He's broken records that Michael Jordan had. Like <laughs> he he just broke records with um, right. this year. Right. The so, scoring title and all that. Yeah. I got you. So yeah. you got to give the man he's good at what he does on all levels. Okay. Michael is not gonna talk about himself. He's not gonna say, Hey, I'm the greatest player that's ever lived. That's not who he is. He's never been like that. But he let his game speak for itself. He bagged it up with how he practiced, how he approached the game, and then how he played the game, both physically and mentally. No, I just think that, you know, we play in different eras. He's, he's an unbelievable player. You know, he's one of the best players in the world, uh, if not the best player in the world. Uh, I know it's a natural tendency to compare eras to eras, and you know, it's gonna continue to happen. I'm a fan of his, I love watching him play. But it's, you know, as you can see, our, our league is starting to expand on very talented players. And, they, you know, I think he's made his mark. He will continue to be so, do so over a period of time. But when you start the comparisons, I think it is what it is. Well, all right. Well, I appreciate you. Uh, I know we're going to do this again because there's a lot of other stuff I didn't ask you about. Uh, and I know you're getting ready for your event. And we're going to we're going to actually uh, talk a little bit about that. But uh, I know uh, all the Deltas are going to want to hear that. What's that? Is it? Ooh, what do y'all say? You so quiet and so shy. I just would never expect you even to. Oh. Did, you, did you do the step and all that? Did you step? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I did all of that. Wow. No, like I'm quiet and shy, but when it comes to me doing what I need to do, like I'm a totally different person. So that's okay. the thing about it. It's almost like I have two personalities. I'm just in just real life form. I'm just a laid back person. Okay. Period. But when it comes, when it time, when it's time to perform, so, um, you can do it. Like I do what I need to do. Okay. What was it? What, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, line name? You had a not line name? Yes, I am the devastating diva. The devastating diva. All right, cool. All right, well, Val, we're gonna wrap it up, but I want to uh, you, <laughs> make sure that you like and subscribe and, and hit the all button and all that kind of stuff because we're gonna have. A lot of good interviews uh, on this podcast. Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across.